Cowboys! Cowboys! Okay. Alright. My Elder Scrolls Online Review. Two stars. I was playing ESO for the first time with my partners, and I didn't realize the menu won't pause the game. So in the midst of trying to message my friend Cyboogs, who was at a higher level than me, that I needed combat help, a skeleton creature started beating me with a club, and all I could send River was Skeeton Dead Terry Cop before dying on impact and leaving the game, to which River got my message at 3 or 4 a.m., and so I was offline for two hours already. Begaze and behold, this echidna in Australia has been seeking ants in Red Earth. Knuckles? Damn, Idris Alba's looking good. I just came up with a really good forward cooking horror story, but I don't know if you guys are ready for it. You sure? <laughs> Two cups vanilla extract. Jesus Christ! The human life is a strained, intense one. I envy the life of a smooth rock resting on the beach, warmed by the sun, unaware of the trials and tribulations of sentient life. Do you need to talk? <sighs> I wish I was a croissant. So I got soft banned from a local coffee shop because one time an old woman saw me sitting by myself and reported to the manager, There's a Dracula sitting in the corner! Being asked to leave a physical real-life area and calling it a soft bed is pretty good. Ooh, I'm so glad I don't have a tumbler. Wait. 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 How did... What? Is this... What? what? Arrow people are either the best at giving relationship advice because we see through societal bullshit, generally the solution is either talk to each other or break up, or we're the worst. There is no in-between. <laughs> guys, guys, <laughs> lightning me ka -chow. No, ka what are they doing to you? <laughs> ka ching ka, ka -ching <laughs> T-Rex Lapis. Ugly! Is this Ozymanthus wine? You've heard of Grand Theft Auto, now get ready for a stilly wheely automobile. <laughs> Disregard the constabulary. <laughs> Delightful. A tomato and its grandpa. How do you even melt a tomato? I just realized that is in fact a pile of ketchup. Serbian cave hermit receives COVID vaccine and doesn't understand why others won't. A Serbian cave hermit has received the coronavirus vaccination and urges others to do the same. I find it funny that a dude living in a cave for 20 years decided to vaccinate as soon as he heard about the virus for the first time. You leave your cave, and you hear that there's a global pandemic, but good news, there's a vaccine. But bad news, a lot of people won't get the vaccine out of jackassery. If it was me, I'd be like, shit like this is exactly why I'm a cave hermit. Google, why is your name Google? In 1997, what we now know as Google was called Backrub. They decided to change the name to Google. A Google is a very large number, 10 out of the- <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear it, but my Google Assistant turned on because I was doing this <laughs> Oh, uh, fuck, fucking god, okay, I don't even know if I can start this over. Anyway, for Google at a time was called Backrub. Backrub. Can you imagine if that was still in play? <laughs> like, you can download all of our latest apps at Backrub Play. Radiation is just little bugs in the air. Why are people afraid? It's just bugs. It's not real. <laughs> Idiot doesn't even know how radiation is angels and other celestial residue. Bugs, angels. Well, what's the difference? Well, damn, you got me there.
Are you a philosopher? Boy, I'm dumb as shit. Boy, I'm dumb as shit is just rephrase Socrates as I know that I know nothing, so what's the truth? You know, there is literally no rule that says you have to get married and start a family. Normalize splitting a mansion with your five best friends and ten dogs. Oh my god. I wanna do that. The year is 2025. Scientists are still scrambling to figure out what Ziggy Zig Ah is so that they can give the Spice Girls what they really, really want. The Spice Girls are getting impatient. War is a us. I literally cannot stop thinking about this official achievement art. Who did this? Why is Steve a cat boy? <laughs> well, I could, I could probably tell you who did it, but uh, if I do that, Andy and I might have an argument on this edit. Uh, Andy, <laughs> put in. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying these words. I haven't said these words in a long time. Andy, <laughs> put in quiet chat. I know it's stupid. I know we haven't worked on it in a long time, but it's just slurs slide in very slowly as I'm trying to explain to you why I think this is funny. Just, <laughs> just do something. I felt a great disturbance in the force. As if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. I feel something terrible has happened. And finally, nothing will fuck you up as much as the realization that there's no real reason the alphabet needs to be in order. What? What? What have you done? <coughs> the ocean is a. Soup. Well, the ocean's murky and has a lot of fish in it, so by New England standards, technically, it's a chowder. If tweeting is the act of posting something on Twitter, can we call the act of posting something on Tumblr? Tumbling? <laughs> I have such great ideas. Love to be paid a leather pouch heavy with coin that makes a satisfying clink as the mysterious stranger sets it down meaningfully on the oaken table. As a Target cashier, you had a guest pay $53 all in quarters yesterday? No, you don't. You'd probably feel different, Peter, if that money was for you and not Target. Revenge of the Sith AU, where Anakin can't kill any younglings because they set up hundreds of space Home Alone-style booby traps around the Jedi Temple. <laughs> he opens the door to fuck full of sand and loads its contents all over his head. You just hear him go... <laughs> you just hear him go... Aah! Well, according to the article, over the three years of human bites documented, there were 6,339 bites. In those same three years, there were only 45 shark bites, meaning that you're actually 141 times more likely to be bitten by a New Yorker than a shark. Dag a New Yorker. And this was sent to me because I'm a New Yorker. And let me just say, I haven't bit anyone. Yet. <laughs> Dying your hair to look like a fictional character? God, you're pathetic. Hey! Fuck you, Sonic! So this true scum make a very angry post like, Oh, you can't trade and collect gender identities like Pokemon cards. And I think that's a quitter mindset. Anyone want to trade genders with me? Yeah, sure. Which ones do you have? All right, I have the rare Among Us gender. There's like only five in existence. Okay, I can give you my holographic B gender and my shitty dream gender. <gasps> OMG, deal. <sighs> A great day for the Tide Tide Spider community. Behold, a terracotta piggy bank made in East Java in the 15th century. Oh my god. Andy, show this to Amy. Just, just do it. We'll see what happens. You could just post a gif of her reaction if she doesn't want to do an audio thing. Memes. The DNA of the soul. Genes distributed socially. Everything is a meme. Blood. Booze. Treason. Death. All eternal in society, and as a result, memes. In conclusion, your honor, jury, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. That, that, that was beautiful, man. What does an everything bagel even have? It just seems like a bold claim. Hey, 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 hey! Listen, everything bagel's got everything. It's got poppy seeds, sesame seeds, onions, salt, and... <laughs> oh god. I'm bisexual, which means I have both the limp wrist condition and the I'm gonna lift all these chairs by myself if it kills me syndrome. <laughs> this explains some things. Writing prompt. 
As an author, you're the ultimate god of your world. Your hero became powerful enough to step into reality. He then asked you to explain why an omnipotent being would permit so much evil in the world, not realizing that you placed all the evil there to spice up the story. <clears throat> story Thieves. You're thinking of Story Thieves. It's an entire book series. Go read it. It's really good. Minecraft News. The new Blood Caverns biome has been toned down to include only 30% of the viscera. Sorry. Fucking robbery. I said sorry. What's a queen without her king? Well, historically, better. Well, what's Juliet without her Romeo? I'm alive. Power move. Make a D&D character with the same name as your DM. But with cool in front of it. Yeah, this is my character, Cool Jose. He's like normal Jose, except he didn't fail his driving test three times. Three times, Jose. Three times. You know, if you put a dot on the Major League Baseball logo, it looks like a bird with arms. <laughs> now, this is the cut that I joined this night for. <laughs> Every shonen character. I'm 11 and I don't care if I die! I mean, have you ever met an 11 year old? 11 year olds have the self preservation of someone who has met God and wasn't impressed. I mean, look at Ash Ketchum. He's like 10 or 11, and he's seen like six gods. Tried to punch, I think, two of them. God, the new girl has so many more polygons than me. I'm pathetic. I'll never be as popular as her. And then her sister shows up one day with an even bigger polygon count. I mean, some massive polygon obahungus. Humongous polyhongo gogongolus. Ah, this is what the late 90s consoles wars were like. Listen, Neapolitan is the only good ice cream. My pal, those are three flavors on the same tub. Right, and then I beg to differ. You take them and you mix them up. You got the ultimate flavor. It's got the lightness of vanilla, the tanginess of strawberry, and the luxury of chocolate. How dare you say these words to me? <laughs> Clearly, you don't own an air fryer. You should totally get one. I'm just saying. Dude, dude. You have excess for eyes. Are like, are you okay? Is anyone here a doctor? <sighs> Sometimes I just entertain myself by sitting down and making weird noises. And for the remainder of this video, I'm gonna do just that. Andy, you can put whatever you like for every noise that I make, or you can just leave it a blank, awkward pink screen. It's your call. It's your call. I don't know how much you've already done, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Pasta. Pasta indeed. Pasta precisely. Love opening Tumblr and just saying things. If you don't understand my post, that's okay. Because I don't either. Probably bad RPG idea. The Jello Mold of Holding. Acts like a bag of holding, except anything take out of it is encased in jello. Roll for fruit flavoring. Wait, hold on. I like this. This is this is a good idea. How change your URL. Lesbians and bisexuals need to unionize and start biting people. Like vampires! Mysterious heartbeat detected coming from cosmic gas cloud. I mean, sure, whatever at this point. All hell the glow cloud! Wait, hold on. Wait. Ray? Ray, is that you? I love pinning Discord messages. It's like hanging them on the fridge. You go into someone's house and their fridge is covered in sticky notes that say shit like, I got glass bones and paper skin and every night I shatter my hog. Yeah. Why does anyone eat mint chocolate chip? Like you already brush your teeth two to three times a day. Why swallow toothpaste flavored ice cream? Bitches who say mint ice cream tastes like toothpaste must not brush their teeth because no the fuck it don't. Pitch, a Muppet movie where the Muppets play D&D. And it cuts between the Muppets around the table and the fantasy being acted out. But instead of just being the Muppets dressed up in D&D fantasy costumes, it's celebrity actors, but the Muppets do the voices. And the actors have to act how the Muppets would. Imagine a barbarian played by Jason Momoa, voiced by Miss Piggy. 
<laughs> oh, how the tables have turned on celebrities doing voiceovers. Who's laughing now, Jason Momoa? The reason vampires go to hell and werewolves don't is that vampires just suck the juice out and waste the rest. If I saw somebody lick the sauce off some pasta and leave the bad noodles intact, I'd condemn them to eternal damnation too. I've been on this site for so long that this is actually this is making some sort of sense. Today I learned that until the mid 20th century, golf clubs were not numbered, but had wonderfully funny names. Brassies, Niblicks, Baffies, Mashies, Jiggers, Spoons, and Cliques. Hey guys, wanna hear the seven news slurs for British people I just came up with? Andy, Andy, we can't allow this. Uh, destroy today I learned that. They've had enough. <laughs> No, actually, Dr. Pepper is the scientist. You're thinking of Monster Energy Drink. My mistake. I recently heard about this young adult novel in which Schrodinger's cat and Pavlov's dog team up for a cross-country adventure. So I headed down to the library to see if they had a copy for my ten-year-old daughter. The librarian said that my description rang a bell, but she wasn't sure if it was there or not. Jeff! I can change him into a llama. Might throw off his groove, though. These twenties really ain't roaring, man. Yeah, they're screaming. Writing prompt. After Lucifer was kicked out of heaven, he decided to make his own paradise. Both compete to have the best afterlife, and sadly you lived a sin-free life and got sent to heaven. God is throwing a very boring, sin-free party. You spend your time trying to get kicked out so you can go to hell. I looked at the basketball in my hand, and then at God's halo. His back has turned. I had no regrets. In literal seconds, I was greeted by a crying, laughing on the floor, Lucifer! That sounds beautiful. Somebody draw this. Hey, I'm starting a union for smart Alex and wise guys. What are the do's and how do I sign up? You just gotta put your two cents in. Future gays are gonna be writing posts like, oh, to be a young touch stop gay from 2020. Stuck in quarantine, unburdened by social interactions, but longing for the embrace of my love. Gays in 2021 will write like that. And... Still are. You know, not all construction work is equally enjoyable. For example, enlarging a drilled hole is boring, but fastening pieces of metal together is riveting. This joke would get the exact same reaction in 1870 that it gets in 2021, and I love that about it. Wait. Wait, hold on. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's good. I like that. I actually really didn't get it. They said it couldn't be done. Then a pyogram. This is the most important visual pun to have ever been posted on the internet. What is happening? Pytosis is happening. Ugh, what is that obnoxious glowing orb in the sky? The sun. I'm gonna fight it. Hey, boy, are you from tennis shoes? Because you're the only tennis shoes. You get my drift? People who suppress their feelings are scary. I'd much rather associate with the person who will punch a trash can and break a window, but come back feeling sedated and hungry for chicken wings. Yeah. Yahoo Answers, how do I resurrect someone back to life without making them zombies or vampires? Well, resurrection is basically impossible nowadays because the spirits need a reason to come back to the world, and... Have you seen the world lately? Did you know? By replacing your potato chips with grapefruit as a snack, you can lose up to 90% of what little joy you still have left in your life. Worst. Fruit. Why does it exist? I am the gender of being a funny little guy. Uh, hee hee hee, if you will. You're not even Jeff! Wait, Yahoo Answers, how many humans in a trench coat are you? We're actually six trench coats and a human. It's very uncomfortable for all parties involved. What? Yes, I am both the friend who texts back immediately or leaves you on read because I'm reading fan fiction. Depends on the day. Deal with it. Being a vampire sounds cool at first, but you have to remember they can't have garlic. And what kind of sad fucking existence would that be? 
What is the point of eternal undeath without the spice of life? Just truly bonkers how much I love lying down. Like being horizontal, I'm paralleled. Well, it's paralleled by both the floor and the ceiling, but I see where you're coming from. So, what's your stock portfolio like? Oh, no, I've got chicken, beef, vegetable, the classics mostly. Well, keep it up and before long you'll be a bullionaire. <laughs> I big muffin. Muffin tasty. What flavor is muffin? It's muffin flavored. <laughs> My first joke I ever made was drawing a comic where two people were staring at a dress in the window of a store. One of them says, I would die for that dress. And the other says, I would kill for that dress. And then they look at each other awkwardly. This is when I was like six, and every day I wake up knowing I'll never be able to top this. My magnum opus. I love it when you're drinking citrus drinks and you can't feel your tongue and your entire face starts sweating. It's so cleansing. Um... My doctor said I'm allergic to citrus. Me as the sole survivor of the apocalypse, commenting last on every YouTube video. One day you'll get an alert that someone liked your comment. It was me, on a separate account. I got bored. At my funeral, the audience will watch my favorite comfort movie, and whoever checks their phone first gets disinherited. Actually, I like this. This is, this is good. This is a good idea. I'm gonna do this. Andy, make sure I do this when I die. Just fine. You could do more, you know. Yes, I could have gone to Russia and wrestled a bear. Talking about things we could do, you could have fucked right off. When did everyone agree on calling Tumblr a hell site? Literally day one, my dude. Day one. Stick. Mmm. <gasps> well, stick indeed. Ten-year-old me wants to pick it up and swing it around like a sword. That'd be great. If only I had a magical editor that could just let me use that for at least probably two seconds of me just bonking something with a stick. If only. I could fix him. Yeah, well, I could accept him as he is. You don't like the murder? Grow up. The atrocities are part of him, and I decided they're funny. Right before this video, I got an ad using PM's voice. And thus, my life as a voice actor and YouTube dude have finally collided. That said, though... Today's video is brought to you by uh, Apologies for the delay on this one. Someone has been very busy with other things. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been doing my usuals. You know, seeing friends, watching the humans. Breaking the YouTube by being you? Yes, breaking the YouTube. <laughs> no, shush. Question one. If you unraveled your hair bun, how long would your hair be? have an exact measurement, but I know it's very long. One time, Shiro pulled on my hair ribbon and the sheer magnitude of hair that hit him forced the poor man to poop back into his spirit form. <sighs> I thought it was pretty funny. Actually, that kind of answers the question, too. If you got really hurt in your physical form, what would happen? Uh, I try my best to stay out of trouble. But if something does happen, much like Shiro, I revert back to my spirit form and rest up how I can. Usually it takes a day or two to recover. That said, if something happens to the moon itself, like if it got hit to the point of explosion, well, I would become one with the universe again. Spirits like me don't really die. We just get rare chances to live like humans do. By sheer damn anomaly, huh? Who knew? You did. What? Nothing! Question four. Isn't there multiple universes where you exist? <laughs> Doesn't that apply to everyone? <laughs> Got him. Question five. What is your relationship with the other spirits like Solaria, Rei, and Shiro? Solaria, despite being much older than me, sees me as a big sister. Mainly because when she first met me, I was taller and bigger than her, so she kind of latched on to the idea. Ray, I suppose one could call my mother, in a sense, if I am to believe her story of being the cosmos herself, but I am not entirely sure. <laughs> As for Shiro, uh, um, well, he's sort of, you know. They holding hands. <laughs> hey! 
idea. It's not what you think. Ch Chiro is um very special to me, and it's not my fault. He is so kind and sweet, a little blunt, but also equally naive. And his eyes are so pretty, and he becomes a big pretty dragon. And I just want to write. Wait! No, no, bad phrasing. Bad. Question six. Any interesting quirks or powers you have? <sighs> uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> powers. Um, so, um, sorry, just... <laughs> anyway, powers, yes. I can create shields and any sort of protective barriers out of my own spirit. I suppose it was given to me out of my purpose with the moon to keep the earth safe from space debris and the swords. I also learned in spirit form, my tears have rather profound properties, where if they make contact with existing primitive life, like microscopic sea animals or flowers, there's a chance they can create new types of life! Isn't that cool? Hmm, I wonder if I have done it before. <coughs> hmm? What was that on the screen? Nothing, just a, just a glitch, it's fine. Hmm, are you being the suspicious one? No. Don't lie to me. You really want to know? Yes. You sure? Yes! Tell me! All right. <clears throat> you ever notice how Grape and Asai are the only slimes on Earth who can form into elves or humans like you? What? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute! 